You are looking at the world's largest digital camera. It was designed by Stanford scientists to explore the mysteries of the universe, taking pictures that could revolutionize astronomy. But first, it had to go on a long and risky road trip across the globe. It just recently completed that journey from the Slack National Accelerator Laboratory in Menlo Park to the Andes Mountains in Chile, where it will sit on top of the Cerro Pachon Ridge. Of course, this is some pretty important and delicate, delicate equipment to move. Brian Hackney shows us how they did it. All right, we are uh, hang, free. hanging free here, guys. Inside this room, yeah, real, really gentle. the world's largest digital camera is finishing off 10 years of construction. Bingo. Destination, universe. Marco Lopez has spent five years preparing for one day, the day the camera is finally shipped off. I personally am really interested in this project because it really feels to me like a progression in astrophysics and for the sake of curiosity. But first, it somehow has to get from Stanford to this remote mountaintop in Chile. It's kind of like uh, having your kid go off to college, right? It's exciting. It's also a lot of anxiety that goes along with it, too. Travis Lang is the camera project manager, and this is not like shipping something on Amazon. All the crates, they're all color-coded. So we're going to see a whole bunch of different color codes, and that helps us when we're at the airports so that things get on the correct trucks. We've got a number of trucks coming to Slack. So day one, we're going to have six trucks come, and we're going to load all of the crates, two of the containers, and get them all to the airport that day. Then the next day at 4 in the morning, we need to load the camera container onto a truck and take it to the airport. And this is the LSST camera. We were the last to get a look at the camera inside its 20-foot shipping container, sitting on springs to cushion the ride. All of this equipment is going to travel on a 747 freighter. That meant a late night trip to SFO, maybe the riskiest part of the journey on 280 to the airport. Unloading at SFO, reloading onto a 747 cargo jet, lift off for a 10 hour flight to Santiago, and landing at 4.10 a.m. at the airport in Chile. The camera container loaded onto its own transport vehicle, and then nine trucks drove in a slow convoy to the guarded gate at the base of the observatory. It's at that point we turn off of the main highway, mm -hmm. and it is a 35-kilometer dirt road up to the summit facility. That We will go very, very slow. The trip up took five hours, and after the camera was pulled out and when it gets set up, it will take the most detailed time lapse of the universe that we have ever seen. In the first year, we're going to collect more data than every other telescope combined has ever collected in the history of astronomy which is wild. We're more than doubling the amount of knowledge available. But before it all got underway, it took these technicians 10 years to build and Margo and company five years to plan the trip from crate to container from here to eternity. At least that's the next stop. The camera will eventually be installed on the observatory's dome and attached to a telescope. Scientists will spend several months testing it, and then late next year, the observatory plans to begin a decade-long study of the universe by generating a panorama of the southern sky every few nights.